I went on Pinterest a while ago and I started seeing these things called anchor charts because my son is learning about units of measurement in um, for classical conversations for math this semester um, and we learned um, a lot of different types of measurement and even getting into some geometry so I saw these and I decided to replicate them by hand for liquid measurement and equivalence, I found um, this thing and I recreated it. Pretty much the two little C's inside the pint represents a cup. So two cups equals one pint, two pints equals one quart, four quarts equals one gallon. Whoa, blew my mind when I saw that. So you're able to break it down and be like, okay, so eight pints equals a gallon. Like this really helped him just get it. Um, sometimes visual aids, it just it's just what the kid needs to just get the information in linear equivalence 2.4 centimeters equals one inch and I did like a paper clip <laughs> it's so cute and um 12 inches equals one foot and then I put the 12 um paper clips for in the foot underneath it so they can, they can see the equivalent and then 5,280 feet equals one mile cute stuff by hand just get out some markers and go for it you never know what you're going to come up with and here's another one for metric system a millimeter is the size of the edge of a penny itty bitty <laughs> centimeter is a measure a measure small objects with this like eyes nose mice your mouth whatever meter use a hundred centimeters about the same as a yard and kilometer distance measurement is like a mile so just stuff so they can see and he always walks past this and he looks at it and then you can tell he's getting it when you just randomly ask him how big is a millimeter it's like the size of the edge of a penny just so they can just commit it to memory in their own little way. I mean, he's going on six, and this stuff is stuff that kids learn when they're a lot older, but because he can see it and it breaks it down to his level and it's bright and it's very inviting, he's getting it. Um, he's committing it to memory long before he's actually gonna need this information. It'll be natural to him when it's time to really learn this stuff. Area of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle equals length time width. I show him the rectangle, this is length, this is W um, for width, and then we get out the abacus and I create a few rectangles and I say, okay, the length is five, the width is two, and then we work it out on the abacus because he sees this and he wants to do it and practice it more. Area of a square equals side squared. I explained to him what squared means. Again, we broke out the abacus. We did some examples, <clears throat> excuse me simple stuff and I'm gonna add the area of a triangle and the area of a circle to this as well and this whole board will just be filled with units of measurements in geometry um, equations and stuff crazy stuff that you can do by hand don't spend money get some markers and get crafty and get creative because I think kids really love seeing you be a kid as well and it also breaks it down to a level that they can understand so I'm just encouraging you to not only have to print things I know I do a lot of free printables I know I you know print 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 but if you can't print colored markers work just fine too so I just want to show you my little anchor charts that I'm making for my kindergartner who's doing classical conversations units of measurement and geometry all right guys have a great day bye